Hey YouTube, this is a quick video of my new ball python. He is a really nice guy. Um, I got him in the mail from Triple Reptile the other day. I got him Wednesday and it's Saturday today. He's almost to school again and it's not good. He packs his actually still warm. So I packed it up and he was done that thing right there. Ball python. Yep. So it's cool. I really like it's the first real animal I bought off the internet, so I was really excited and I think I'm gonna do that again. Only with the snake the snakes though, so yeah, and there's the Tiki, he's in shit. Got really nice red colors. So yeah. Hi buddy. Hi. And he's still got the same. He's trying to dig under the tree over there. He really likes to dig. He's digging every day right here. And he's still got his hides. And he really doesn't use them that much. Only when the lights turns off. I have them on these timers down there. And then he crawls in because I have a heat mat under there. And this is a, yeah, just the nighttime light. It's on all the time. So. And that's a 5.0 UVB, and that's a 75 watt bulb from Sumit. Yeah, I got these larvas to poop, poop aid. I don't know how to say that. So this one is on the take you now. So he has a 175 watt, it's really hot down there. That's good. And for the ball python, I have this 60 watt solar. Glow from Exoterra, tropical, and it's. Run. I had this for the snake actually, but it was way too hot down there, and it got, yeah, it got really hot. And I think this is just a normal light bulb. I think I'm, I have this Exoterra light in here for the UVB, and I have these two, so I think I'm gonna buy a UVB bulb. Uh, today or tomorrow just to put there so because it's really hot in there I think it's too hot send the rub over there so just so it's not that hot so I have this little corner water dish it's f fine for him now and I have this tree right here sorry about that with that I put cypress mold cypress mulch over so it looks really nice and he has more space to crawl around in and I have a lot of plants as you can see I love when there's a lot of plants and then there I have some moss reptile moss no sorry terrarium moss that I spray with water every day so it's nice and moist in there and um, I have a very large rip to shelter I think it is and um, yeah, this is just crickets and all stuff. And I'm gonna buy a 40 gallon for him, but he can stay in this for a long time. So this is a 30 gallon tank. And um, I have the calcium right there, Flucker, Flucker's calcium and rip to cal. And um, so yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm just gonna take him out for you guys. You can do this. Um, I got this tree pot the other day. I think it's a tree pot um, from Best Buy. So I'm just gonna sit you guys right here. Turn it around a little bit. Sorry. And I have I bought this from Petco. Well, actually, I bought it from Triple Reptile. But and I'm not scared of holding the snake. It's just so I don't have to pick the heights and the Ripti shelter thing off all the time. It's just so much easier. So and I always used to take this under the heat lamp for a couple of minutes so the 
so the metal is not too cold for the snake. So. Yeah, that's good. And I guess you can please. Yeah, you can hear. Okay. So I'm just going to take it out. And this is a homemade screen lid because I. I'm really sorry that this is taking so long. I just can't reach him. Okay, there we go. I got him. This is him. Just gonna pick this up. Whoa, this zoomed. Okay, there we go. So, here we go. Here he is. He is very teeny tiny. But he's very nice. He's just a normal ball python. He's no colimorphs, no 20% anything. Or, so. He's really nice. He is really small though, compared to my hand. So, but he's really nice. And um, I tried to feed him yesterday a teeny tiny fussy, so, and he did need it. So, if you guys have anything that maybe helped me, that would be very nice. And if I'm doing anything wrong with this setup or I mean, he's just really nice. And it, it's a pre-killed fussy, it's frozen, and um, he's just really nice. I can show you guys the feeding box. I take him out for feeding. So I, sorry about the mess in here. Um, I have the, made this little, here, ball python, and the red take you. The M stands for mice, and he eat a lot of mice, and he hasn't eaten yet. So and I taped all the sides with duct tape, so he feels secure in there. And I have a little towel down there, and he can be down there easily. I mean, so. But I went on this website yesterday to see if there was anything that I could maybe try, and I and there I found this website where I could try because they're nocturnal, so I could try to feed him at night. So I'm gonna try to feed him tonight. So when it gets dark. So yeah, this is my ball python, my new pet. I'm going to make updates and new videos about him and also the take you. And I'm going to the Reptile Show here in Massachusetts the 21st of May. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm getting some new stuff. And thank you for watching and going to make updates.